In 2021, there is a big news in the science and technology circle. Scientists from Tianjin Institute of Industrial Biotechnology, Chinese Academy of Sciences, and Dalian Institute of Chemical Physics have developed a full artificial synthesis from carbon dioxide to starch outside the cell, which is 3.5 times more energy efficient than traditional photosynthesis and 8.5 times more efficient in carbon sequestration. Some friends asked me, how can this synthetic starch method be achieved? What is the difficulty of it? And what is the significance of it? Is it that we will soon be able to eat buns made from the wind? Can this achievement win the Nobel Prize? So today, we will talk about the artificial starch. Artificial starch is the standard of the traditional photosynthesis of starch, so we first understand what is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis in our junior high school are learned, in fact, is the green plants through the absorption of carbon dioxide and water, and then, the use of light energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into organic matter, such as glucose, and then, the release of oxygen, so a process, of course, this is a more simplified way of saying, if we talk about the process a little more carefully, then the green plants have chloroplasts, there is a kind of material called vesicle-like membrane, it is a kind of cake-like material, then photosynthesis in the light reaction, it occurs in this kind of vesicle-like membrane on the material specifically, it will absorb water from the outside world, and after that, Water comes in, the light will shine onto the cystoid membrane, and the light will shine through, and after it shines through, it will photolyze the water and break it down into hydrogen ions and electrons, so it doesn't contain oxygen atoms. Oxygen atoms became oxygen as a byproduct, or waste is released, this process, we call it a light reaction, because it can only happen when there is light, he used light to decompose water, then decompose the hydrogen ions and electrons after what? It can put the intracellular, this material energy, enhance, we know it, intracellular, there is a substance called adenosine diphosphate called ADP, through the thycoloid membrane of this high energy electrons and hydrogen ions ah, ADP can become ADP3 adenosine phosphate we have said before adenosine triphosphate, is the energy currency of the organism, right? You need a lot of physiological activities rely on this high energy adenosine triphosphate to complete. In addition, there is a coenzyme called NADP plus in the body, so this coenzyme, through the energy provided by the light reaction, it can also be turned into NADPH, then the hydrogen atom is also taken over, so these two substances, it is a high energy substances, it has a lot of energy, so we will be the first light to give us energy into a kind of stored in the chemical substances, so the step of the light reaction is light energy, into chemical energy, after the transformation, you do not still, have to suck carbon dioxide, how is this carbon dioxide sucked over it? This process, we call it the Calvin cycle, because he is a scientist Calvin. First, there is a 5-carbon sugar, which we call diphosphate ribonucleic acid, so this substance can absorb carbon dioxide, what becomes after absorbing carbon dioxide? It originally had five carbon atoms absorbed a carbon atom into six carbon atoms. Six carbon atoms will be separated, the six carbon atoms into two molecules. Each molecule has three carbon, so the formation of a three carbon acid. This three carbon acid, we call it PGAA, called phosphoglyceric acid. After the formation of this phosphoglyceric acid, phosphoglyceric acid, it will be just we said after the formation of this phosphoglyceric acid, phosphoglyceric acid, it will take the energy of this ADP and NADPH is high energy material to come, that high energy material, it will go to this position to release energy, after the release of energy, this phosphoglyceric acid, this 3 carbon compound, it will become another 3 carbon compound, a 3 carbon sugar. We call it PGL phosphoglyceraldehyde, well, now, phosphoglyceraldehyde is a 3 carbon, this substance, this 3 carbon substance will have a bifurcation, part of it will turn back into a 5 carbon sugar, right, that is, absorb part of the carbon dioxide, then after the flow, part of it will turn back into a 5 carbon sugar, so the formation of a cycle, a cycle, the 5 carbon after a cycle, the 5 carbon sugar is not consumed, but where did the carbon dioxide go? That is because there is another part of the 3 carbon sugar, he synthesized a 6 carbon sugar, such as C6H12O6 glucose or fructose, and then, then after a very complex enzyme catalysis, glucose or fructose can synthesize what can be synthesized plant energy storage material, that is, starches it and plant energy transport material, that is, masking sugar. It can be synthesized with sugar, starch, etc., that these at the same time, these sugars can also be converted into what? What can it be converted into? 
It can be converted into lipids. At the same time, the plant body can also absorb inorganic salts, right? And then it can produce amino acids and proteins and nucleic acids, etc. Anyway, in short, these sugars can continue to be transformed into lipids and proteins. And whether they are sugars, lipids, or proteins, we can eat plants again, right? So these substances can be eaten by us. We can get energy from the plants, of course. We have to absorb oxygen, right? The whole process is complete, that in the Calvin cycle, the plant body needs to go through more than 60 steps, there are many kinds of enzyme catalysis to complete the process, so what are its characteristics? Photosynthesis has many good advantages, the first one is that it achieves the transfer of energy, with human activities, is the need for energy, so where does the energy come from? You can see strike, there is only one source of energy, is the light right light energy then to chemical energy, chemical energy stored in sugar, and then sugar, but also can be converted into other substances or directly by freezing. The second thing is that it is the realization of the material cycle, this photosynthesis, although it produces a low yield, but he never had any waste, his material is recycled, you see, our photosynthesis only absorbs water, only carbon dioxide, right? And then the byproducts, the oxygen is also sucked up, and then the rest of the manufacturing process does not produce any waste, right? The organic matter is eaten by people, and when the person dies, his body decomposes and becomes carbon dioxide and water and inorganic salts again, right? So the whole biological world is cyclic, so it can make the ecosystem stable, so what other characteristics does it have? I don't know what word to use to describe it, let's use the word harmony to describe what is meant by harmony, that is, first of all, each enzyme bar, he can promote a reaction process did not it. This is a catalyst, it can promote certain chemical reactions, we have dozens of enzymes to promote dozens of chemical reactions, and the most important, the most amazing thing is that these enzymes do not fight with each other, that is, my presence, it has no effect on you, right, there are never two enzymes, they are put together to fight, but in chemical reactions will often appear this phenomenon, that is, you put two different but in chemical reactions, you often put two different catalysts together and they fight, and in the end, no one can react, but organisms have evolved over billions of years and they don't have this problem. For example, corn is a crop with high starch production, and it takes 120 days to mature, right? So it does not pursue the speed of nature, because it does not want to feed so many people, but now, more and more people in nature, we want to eat more and more food, the natural cycle of this process cannot meet us, how to do, we thought of a way to say, can I artificial? So, scientists have thought of some ways to synthesize some food. Well, this time, our Chinese scientists are to complete the artificial synthesis of starch such a step, artificial synthesis of starch, you are to simulate photosynthesis, the two parts, one is the light reaction, one is the Kelvin cycle, the light reaction is to produce energy, then the step is provided by who? Who will do this? This process is a simulation of the light reaction process, but it is not exactly the same light reaction process, first of all, it is first through the ah, such as the solar panel ah, or what other things, how to put the light energy. After converting it into electricity, after converting it into electricity, you put this electricity in the channel of an electrolysis device, which is water, right? We have batteries, appliances, after the water is electrolyzed, water is electrolyzed to form what formed after the formation of oxygen and hydrogen, right good? The first step, we turn it into hydrogen, into hydrogen, after the second step what to do? We use carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas under certain conditions. Reaction, then the group found a catalyst, is zinc oxide and so on. Some substances, through the role of these catalysts, it becomes methanol, formaldehyde what is called methanol? We know that alcohol called ethanol, right, said industrial alcohol contains methanol, will cause blindness, that is methanol, this substance methanol and water, well, the second step is completed, so that it, he produced a high energy substance methanol, they call this methanol what? called liquid sunlight, why is it called liquid sunlight? Because we first, through such two steps, we convert light energy into chemical energy, the chemical energy is methanol, right, and just compared to photosynthesis, it is the conversion of light energy into ADP and NADPH, we are converted into methanol, right, although the steps are different, but the idea is the same, that is, we convert light energy into chemical, energy into chemical energy, the next step to. What is the next step? 
The next step is to simulate the Kelvin cycle, or dark reflection. Why is it called a dark reaction? Because it can happen with or without light, and then we are better known as the Kelvin cycle. You simulate the Kelvin cycle who completed this step. First of all, he first designed a line by computer, that is, there are more than 6,000 kinds of reactions related to photosynthesis of starch in nature. From these 6,000 kinds of reactions, they carefully selected and found a brand new path to see which way can be the fastest and most efficient way to synthesize starch. The enzymes were selected from more than 60 kinds of enzymes from more than 30 kinds of organisms, and 10 kinds of enzymes were selected for the chemical reactions, and it was found that some enzymes were fighting with each other. So we had to find a way to modify these, not to add some modifications to this one, or to change the species to find these enzymes, right? They solved the problem of inhibition and competition, right, and this problem was called a bottleneck in that paper. They solved this bottleneck, so that there was no more fighting between these enzymes, and they designed a spatial and temporal separation and modification of the enzymes, and finally, they were able to simulate the natural way of synthesizing starch, which of course does not exist in nature. We redesigned the route, which took the natural Calvin cycle, the 60-step process, although I wrote less, but actually very complex, a total of more than 60 steps, right, then our researchers at the Tianjin Institute of Industrial Biotechnology simplified it to 11 steps, specifically, what is this step? First of all, they made a chemical reaction tank, and then they catalyzed the carbon dioxide and hydrogen, carbon dioxide and hydrogen in this way, and then they turned it into methanol, and after that, this is a kind of awe, very high energy this. There is also carbon in the material, right? So he added this step of carbon sequestration, and then the methanol was turned into what by the catalytic action of two biological enzymes, which are biological catalysts. It is a three-carbon substance DHA, we call it dihydroxyacetone dot not the same as the DHA we drink in milk. The specific reaction time is about one hour for the first step, one hour for the second step, two hours for the third step, and four hours for the starch. This process is just a simplified version, if you check the original paper, he will tell you that I have a total of 11 steps in the process. The first step is a chemical catalytic process, the next 10 steps are all biocatalytic process, what is the product of each reaction catalase in this table is written very clearly, this paper is not long off, only a few pages, of course, you say I, then I also want to know how you specifically do the repetition, you how this person will have a supplementary material, this supplementary material has more than 50 pages, you want to know exactly how he did, you go to the supplementary material, he will tell you, right, you can also go to repeat it, the experiment, and then after a variety of physical and chemical methods to check it, found that I finally generated this starch, and we eat the food starch composition is the same, right, so we this experiment. It is this is the first time that starch is synthesized outside the cell, and before that, starch is synthesized inside the cell by photosynthesis. We are going to do a comparison between this method and ASAP, which scientists have named ASAP, same like as soon as possible, which is an acronym for ASAP, but it's just a name clash with English as soon as possible. And then, in addition, we compare it with a high-yielding crop such as corn, that corn can also produce a lot of starch, compare what? First of all, we compare the speed of starch production, the speed of starch production, with this kind of artificial synthesis, he calculated the volume of the reaction tank and time time, just set as 4 hours, and the amount of starch it produces, right, after conversion, if this reaction tank avenue a cubic meter, and with a day of 24 hours of continuous reaction, it will produce how many kilograms of starch? A calculation is about 10 kilograms in a cubic meter container, a day, it will produce 10 kilograms of starch, then corn, yield per move of corn, about 420 kilograms, but he needs 120 days, the starch content of corn is about 70%, you take these factors into account, then, the starch yield of corn is about 2.45,000 grams, per acre, and then every day that if you average it to one day, then you can produce 2.4 and a half thousand grams per acre per day, you see a cubic meter of reaction tank, you can produce 10 kilograms per acre per day. So we say that a cubic meter container is equivalent to about 4 acres of corn starch production, right, of course, the data given in the report is 5 acres, so maybe he gave him data not quite the same as mine, such as the estimate of corn production, time calculation, may not be the same as mine. 
I'm not quite the same, anyway, about four or five times the way, the second, we want to study the energy utilization, whether it is natural or artificial way, anyway, all from solar energy, right? So how much energy utilization is the way? The energy utilization rate of natural corn is about 2%, 2% of the light energy is converted into energy stored in organic matter, then set this method, first of all, light into electricity, it has a loss of energy, right, the efficiency is only 20%, in this step, in fact, it is necessary to make a breakthrough, and then, this store is converted into hydrogen energy electrolysis this step it is more efficient, about 85%, then we use carbon dioxide and hydrogen reaction into methanol, the Efficiency of the step, about 68%, there is a certain amount of energy loss. Then we turn methanol into starch, this step, the energy utilization rate is about 61%, then the total energy utilization rate multiplied them all and finally into about 7%, we can convert 7% of the solar energy into starch energy storage, right, we see this 7%, major 2% several times ah, uh, 3.5 times. So the energy utilization rate is the natural the last one is carbon sequestration, and we found out that whether you sequester carbon in this way in nature to suck in carbon dioxide, or through artificial solid state, you need enzymes anyway, right? But the natural coal is produced by the plants themselves, and we did not, I added it, I added 10 kinds of enzymes, right, this did not, I cultivated from other organisms, in short, I have to add, not so much per unit mass of coal, how much carbon you can fix it, this is called the rate of carbon fixation, with app this way ah, uh, we can fix 22, that mole mole is a unit, 22 that mole of carbon per minute, each milligram. I can fix 22 moles of carbon dioxide in one minute, so the corn in nature has many kinds of enzymes to help him complete the Calvin cycle process and fix carbon dioxide, right? It's 2.58 moles, 2.58 moles per minute per milligram, per milligram of enzymes in corn, it can fix 2.58 moles of carbon a few times, 8.5 times, so the efficiency of carbon sequestration is far more than who ah, more than the natural ah, the reaction ah, so whether we look at the speed of starch production or energy utilization or solid state efficiency, this synthetic starch method will be better than traditional photosynthesis, which will solve the problem of food crisis, solve the problem of carbon dioxide, this greenhouse gas, and the future of interplanetary travel to provide food, have opened up a new road, some friends asked, so this result is difficult to say, it depends on its later application, I give an example, 100 years ago, in 1920 the world's total, at that time, although people have entered the industrialized and electrified society, but the grain yield is not much different from thousands of years ago, because the growth of crops, it needs a lot of fertilizer, for example, crops need nitrogen fertilizer, and the traditional method of production of nitrogen fertilizer, either human and animal manure, urine or plant and animal carcasses, and then there is the role of microorganisms, such as rhizobacteria can be used to make the air more comfortable. For example, rhizobia can fix the nitrogen in the air, but the yield is very limited. Until 1908, the German chemist Fritz Haber invented the artificial nitrogen fixation method. He took the nitrogen and hydrogen in the air under the action of high temperature and pressure, plus iron as a catalyst into ammonia. Then it can be further produced into a variety of nitrogen fertilizer. Nitrogen fertilizer as the representative of the chemical fertilizer the mass use of. The grain yield increased by several times, which feeds billions of people on Earth, until today, I still use this method of harbor to manufacture ammonia and nitrogen fertilizer, he consumed 2% of the world's energy, contributing to 1.6% of the world's greenhouse gases, half of our body, but all from the harbor method of fixing down the nitrogen in the atmosphere, harbor invented this method when, probably did not even think that this invention of his would have such a profound impact on the world, he also won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1918, but not all along the way. All have such large-scale applications, for example, in the 1960s, ah, uh, Chinese scientists completed the artificial synthesis of crystalline bovine insulin, which is the first synthetic protein in human history, is also a landmark achievement, but until today, the insulin we use is still extracted from E. coli and yeast, rather than chemically synthesized, and now we use artificial methods to synthesize starch. For example, photosynthesis is carried out at room temperature and pressure, and it only needs water and carbon dioxide, and no other substances, but in this method, we need to have a high concentration of carbon dioxide and hydrogen, and we need to carry out at a certain temperature and pressure, and we need to add a lot of enzymes artificially and the production of these enzymes is very complicated.
Therefore, this method is not economically competitive with photosynthesis, scientists say, this is called a breakthrough from 0 to 1, and the road ahead is still very long, need to go from 1 to 100, 